to deal with those void rays. And uh, his entire main base, my teammate Purple, his entire main base right now is getting demolished. Losing his forge, losing all of his gateways, and losing his nexus. So Red here coming out of the wet work and surprising my teammate with those void rays. And now he's really far behind. And this is looking bad for uh, Team Purple and HD StarCraft. And once I get enough mutas, I'll be able to go in there and help him. And it looks like his front door is also getting attacked right now, so here's where I can bring in the roaches and lings to try to help him out. Luckily, he's got plenty of cannons. And uh, you guys can see I'm starving for gas right now. Cleaning up that front door attack by the roaches and lynx. And here I'm going to try to use the mutilus to try to clear off away the uh, void rays. And luckily for purple, he did grab a fast expansion. So he does have uh, income from that natural. And he's not completely out of the game right now. Now I'm going to use these Mutalists to try to check on the status of Blue's natural expansion. He has no probes for me to harass. And meanwhile, three Void Rays here are firing down upon the Nexus, the last remaining Nexus of my teammate, and he loses, uh, he loses that Nexus. So a little bit of a misjudgment by me, where I believe I should have left the Mutalists at my teammate's base to deal with these Void Rays. And unfortunately, my mistake could cost the game for both of us, um, but right now actually moving in with the Mutalist and doing a lot of damage and taking out all of the Void Rays. So here, a small window of opportunity has opened up for me to move in with these Mutalists and try to do some kind of damage. And here we go with the Mutalist, and actually Red is going for carriers here, and these carriers have got to be taken out. They are number one priority right now. Cannot allow those carriers to mass up in large numbers because it becomes nigh impossible to deal with. Taking down the carrier quickly with my 6 Mutalists. But the main primary job that I've got to do with these Mutalists is harass the economy of my enemies. Similar to, uh, to Brood War, Mutalists' main prim primary role is to take out those probes. And Red's teammate Blue coming in with his Stalkers to ward away my Mutalists. As you guys can see, continually macroing um, while my Mutalists are on the field. Never want to forget to uh, build units while you're while you're attacking. Otherwise, you could find yourself short of units after after you're done. And this time, moving in with intent to kill these probes. Uh, Blue has got some stalkers, but they're not going to be able to attack my my Mutalists yet. And no, Blue has gotten blinked. He blinks in. And that is a very good defense against my Mutalists. If you can get a proper blink off right underneath my Mutas, you can do a lot of damage before I can get them out. And luckily for, for, for us, we're not seeing our enemies go for sentries. The, uh, the sentries are a very hard counter to the Mutalists with their Guardian Shield, reducing the first Glaive attack from 9 to 7, and subsequent Glaive attacks to, to a mere 1. Our forces. They're pulling my Mutalists away. Um, a little bit of mismanagement there, engaging those Stalkers. You guys can also see I'm grabbing the Gold Resource Bank at the 9 o'clock position. And setting the waypoints for all the drones so that the drones immediately go to the, to the mineral field there. And so far, this game is hanging very delicately in the balance, guys. Uh, my teammate has been essentially destroyed. Right now, we are behind, but I do have a cloud of mutas looking to hunt and harass probes. And I found an, an expansion here with very vulnerable probes. I'm going to try to take out as many as I can. But it looks like Red has gotten three carriers out, and my priority has switched. I've got to take out these carriers before he gets too many up and running. And luckily, the Mutalists there doing a lot of damage to all the probes, killing all the economy there. 
And uh, I've got to back out because Deep Blue is coming in with his stalkers yet once again. And uh, essentially right now, guys, I'm buying time for my teammate Purple to get back in this game. Uh, and it's going to take him a while because he's lost both of his nexuses. But the longer I can keep my enemies' economy suppressed, keep their workers from, from, giving, from getting income, the better chance we have of winning this game because right now we are behind, but not down and out yet. And moving in with my Medalist once again to try to harass Blue's economy. And I've got to be wary of the Stalkers and their potential to blink. And the Stalkers blinking in here, so I've got to back away with the Medalists. I can't risk losing them, but I did do a quite a bit of damage there, taking out at least, at least six or seven pros. You guys can see here, Red is trying to repopulate his probe line, but he's got five carriers here. Uh, my Mutalists are going to have to take out these carriers, and uh, it's going to be a close fight, and it almost seems like, might be mistaken, but it seems like the Interceptors don't die right when the Mother Carrier dies, because that is a lot of Interceptors for only two carriers, guys. Um, but my Mutalists do take out all the carriers before they can become a major threat this game. Unfortunately, my entire Mutalist army was sacrificed for that, and only one remains to tell the story. And this is actually a pretty bad position for myself because I've lost all my Mutalisks. Um, and Blue can actually move in with his Stalker army right now onto my front door, and he can do a lot of damage. And you guys can see on the minimap, Blue is moving into my main, into my uh, natural door. And we'll see if I'm going to be able to deal with this attack. And here we go, guys. Big defense here. I'm not sure I have enough units to hold up against this many Stalkers. And I'm pinging on the map because I'm calling my teammate to come help me. Confused because uh, my teammate still hasn't gotten any forces yet, it seems like. And I'm looking to see where is the backup purple. Um, Red even brings the Zealots in, and this could be the backbreaker for me. I don't have enough forces to deal with this after losing all of my Mutalists. This could be it. This could be the game, guys. And um, and I look on the minimap, and here I see the Void Ray. So actually, Purple has decided to, instead of help me, go for, go for Eye for an Eye and take out Red. And actually, that is not a bad trade-off. So I'm actually content with that because... Although my natural is going to be taken out, and perhaps even my main, it seems that Red is going to be completely wiped from the game right now. And he's going to not be able to build any more carriers this game, which is, which can actually mean that we will have a chance to win this game. And the Void Rays here, looking at the top right hand corner, are doing a lot of damage. All the Stargates have gone down, the Nexus has gone down, the Gateways now are going down to combine Void Ray Fire, but I'm telling my teammate he's got to be wary of the Stalkers and he's going to need some units to deal with the Stalkers, otherwise uh, the Stalkers are going to make short work of the Void Rays. And there you guys can see the Stalkers engaging the Void Rays, blinking up and taking out the Void Rays. The Void Rays are going to have to abuse the cliffs and the fact that they're an air unit if they want to get out of there safely. And you guys can see that basically I've relocated my main base now to this 9 o'clock expansion. This is all that I've got left. And I'm building two more hatcheries, one at the top and bottom of my main hatchery now. 